when I when I called no, you no, doing all no. stuff you were doing, I asked for all those documents. You and Mary said I had to pay. Don't charge me three. Don't charge me three dollars to pay. Yeah. Our town has been put on display for the world to laugh, ridicule, and humiliate us. Your town could be next. The I am not arguing with her. This month's meeting in Otter Creek at Town Hall is just getting worse and worse and worse. It starts when a fight almost breaks out. And then people are stating that the town is being ridiculed, laughed at. That's what happens when you vote in corrupt and dysfunctional individuals. We ask about people attending meetings, which we didn't have many before this new council. So uh, I want people to know that we didn't have many before. They said regardless with them attending and voicing opinion, the five members have the last say. That's what I'm trying to change. I want to be their voice. I commend Gail for going out and talking to her constituents who voted her in to represent them. This is a phenomenal thing and a needed thing in Otter Creek. If Otter Creek is ever going to break through all of this blah and actually grow again. Some don't want to be filmed and I said I understood because believe me, I quit daily because I'm in the limelight now. Some mentioned of staying to themselves, more or less hiding out, trying to keep hidden. Because someone could be filming you and you will be found guilty by association and not knowing what for. Now keep in mind, I'm not referring to Jeremy himself. We have people from all over filming us now. And my response would simply be this, to the people of Otter Creek, I never wanted to be sold 70 acres illegally with known encroachments not disclosed. I never wanted my property to be used as a public dump for all of the riffraff, and I didn't want it to be used to be sold drugs on. And it's continuing to happen to this day. I didn't want to be stolen from. I didn't want to be charged and isolated and targeted. I didn't want bigotry to happen. But all of these things have happened. And guess who allowed it to happen? You did. And when I gave warning after warning after warning, guess who allowed it to happen? You did. You are responsible for the filming in Otter Creek. Many of you are going to hear me say that and you're going to go, no, no, I'm a victim. No, you voted in these individuals. You knew what they were doing. You know of all of the wrong dealings. You know of the reputation. I moved into Otter Creek and everybody in the surrounding area asked me why when they asked, where do you live? Everything has been going on before. The only change is I put a camera on it. And guess what? I'm not the only one. I'm not the first to record it. I'm not the last to record it. And when I do stop, and there is a plan in action for it to stop, when the lawsuit is over, when Russ the Sus, Don the Con, and all of the corruption is dealt with, then I will stop. I don't want to have to film these things. But do you think those who have actually leached off of my success, who have ridden my coattails, who have tried to use my name illegally and will probably be prosecuted in court, do you think they're going to stop? Our town has been put on display for the world to laugh, ridicule, and humiliate us. I can only speak for myself, but I put the town of Otter Creek on display for accountability, for the wrongdoings that were being done to me personally. That's what I film. I film my daily life and what I'm doing in my daily life, and Otter Creek did that to me. In regards to the world ridiculing, laughing, humiliating, you're doing it to yourselves. Every time you allow these individuals to do another foolish thing with cameras surrounding them, Remove them and it all goes away. Just because Otter Creek hasn't filmed their town hall meetings in the past doesn't mean towns of the same size, smaller, maybe even a little bit bigger, aren't doing it already. They're all over Facebook. They're all over Instagram. They're all over TikTok. They're all over YouTube. And guess what? Almost nobody watches them. Why? Because there's no Russ the Sus. Because there's no Don the Con. You eliminate those people, there's no Mary Mary, math is scary. You eliminate all the dysfunction and you actually run a meeting the right way, a mature way, and there's nothing entertaining for the world to watch anymore. We are real people with real feelings. I do not wish this on any town. You understand this is just talking about the symptoms and not curing the root problem. Let's get back to the root problem. What about what happened to Jeremy Hales? This is the root problem, which the symptom was the filming with a platform with people who actually watch. So fix the root problem, the corruption, the lying, the stealing, 
and it goes away. Did you care about what happened to me when I purchased the property and it was sold to me illegally? Did you care about the dumping of all the garbage on my property? Do you care about the drugs that are being sold on my property? As one mature adult speaking to a town of mature adults, fix the root problems and stop just simply complaining about the symptoms. I did let the people know that before I cast the vote, I would get their opinions and would keep them informed. Some liked our new council and some do not. I reminded them that the two seats will become available in January to fill out the paperwork, to run, and we'll be voting in April. There can be changes made with their votes. I told them, let's ride out the storm together. Surely the rain will stop someday. Some are asking about the lawsuit against our town. My answer was Russell and Mary have not been found guilty or not guilty by a judge yet. But maybe the outcome will come out soon and we can put this behind us. And as for the world out there watching the show, remember, we're real people. And yes, we watch also because we never know who's going to be the next victim. While I respect Gail in her position as a council member and as a friend, I do not agree whatsoever that the people of Otter Creek are victims. They've done this to themselves. If they're victims, they are victims of their own doing. Because we all make mistakes and could offend anyone at any time. Your town could be next. Um, keep in mind that I cast my vote on the majority of what Arter Creek is voting from now on, whatever they want. I'm going to each one of them. Thank you for the eight people that attended from Arter Creek. There's 19 here, only eight from Arter Creek. I ask about that. Yes, they don't. Some really said they would rather just if we instead of sending the money back, mm -hmm. that yeah we should do the community center instead of giving the money back as our you know free money. Let's go back to the previous comment where Otter Creek's on display to be ridiculed, laughed at, humiliated. This is a situation where they are doing this to themselves. They go, it's free money. Well, number one, the very first thing that comes to my mind is greed. What are they going to do with it? They already have a town hall that they don't come to. So you have two options, sidewalks or a civic center. It's not free money. I can't stress this enough. It's not free money. That money comes with a yearly operating cost that this town cannot afford. The only way the town is going to be able to afford it is to generate income. They don't want to generate income. They don't want building. They don't want business. They don't want people. This is not free money. And then you go, oh man, we're being humiliated. We're being laughed at. We're being ridiculed. It's foolishness. Yes, 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 I did ask that. They didn't want the sidewalks, did they? <laughs> they don't want sidewalks, though, so no. <laughs> Of course they don't want sidewalks. That means they would actually have to give something. They would have to give of their property. They would have to give of their land instead of just taking. It's free money, remember? Now, keep in mind, I respect Gail and I appreciate everything she shared. And I think Gail is one of the most positive council members for Otter Creek. You have to get through your mind that mature people can disagree on things and still still be friends. And in her position as a council member, I don't agree with everything. And I, when she steps down from council and we're neighbors, we can be friends, no problem whatsoever. And I'll help her any way I possibly can. Did you have something you wanted to say, Don? Uh, I do, but I don't know if this is the appropriate time. Sure. So where are we at? Well, we were talking earlier about not getting information that we should get, you know. It just seems I don't get a lot, Russell doesn't get it. We just don't get it. And uh, you say the office is open. I came here several weeks ago. I asked you for some, uh, for the, the letter that was written to the state attorneys with all the, uh, the, the documents, the emails, procedures relating to alleged malfeasance and all that. I asked for that information. For so that was a couple months ago? It was several, K, okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. But you told me no. You asked, asked for a letter that was written to them about it? That's right. I didn't write any letter. How can I provide it to you? Okay. Zim said that he sent a letter to the state's attorney with all this information right here. It's on the uh, on the minutes of the July meeting. Look at there. I'm, I'm, not making... I'm not in possession of any such letters, so I can't give you what I don't have. Well, who sent the letter? 
Then I asked them, and he told me that he can't give it to me because it's an investigation going on, and I'm not allowed to see it. I asked him if he saw it. He goes, yeah, he saw it, but it was an accident. It was no accident. Zim was actually in Town Hall when Don the Con could have been at Town Hall during the workshops trying to clean up this mess that Mary and Russ made. I guess I just don't understand what's so important in Don's life that he can't give or volunteer towards the town hall unless he's there for that one hour, one and a half hour, two hours, two and a half hours, sometimes three hours to get that hundred dollars a month. Why is he not there helping move the town forward instead of continually trying to hold it back? Now, why can't we get this information? I don't need an FOI freedom of information to, to get that. I'm a council member. We all have the same amount of authority. I can't and, provide what I don't yeah. have, and I don't have any Well, who sent the letter? letter? It was never a letter. It was never sent I've never letter. seen any letter. I don't have a letter. You said we contacted them. Pardon? We contacted them, and they proceeded on with their stuff. Well, I don't, I don't know. know. It says documents, emails, proceed relating to alleged malfeasance, unlawful, unethical activity, breach of trust, misuse of powers as town officials. And uh, it says that I want to see the letter. I want to see the letter that you sent. You said you sent this. You said you told me it was an investigation going on. That's why you can't get there it. There is to an investigation. They haven't closed anything. And that is the uh, that was that was the information that we give to them. We didn't send it in a letter. They came here and got the report themselves. That doesn't make sense. Well, that's how you file things. You don't send letters. You call the authorities and they come and write a report. Okay. Then did you give them? The documents, the emails, and, and the procedure relating to the alleged malfeasance? Well, the Beaver County Sheriff's Department, if they get this, if ready to release it, they'll release it. Why didn't you tell me that then? You told me no, I can't see it because it's an investigation. Because you can't see it. I can't That's get that information. He's saying, you can't, he's saying the same has. thing to you right now than what you just said. You said he couldn't give it to you because it's an open investigation. Yeah. He's telling you the same thing now. Well, how do you know it's an open investigation? Well, because it's know. not closed. What do you mean it's not? How do you know it's open? So what what they he's saying is, do we have any documentation from that that we can look at ourselves? If Here. you go through any public records, all the, that we're, anything, we don't have nothing that the state's attorney said, hey, we got something against Russell, we can't, I mean, that's what I'm asking. I didn't think that's what they he's saying. They have not given us anything. They so haven't given y'all nothing. No. And you've given them so, nothing. Y'all didn't, so how did they, they find come, that? I mean, we called them on the reports of the things you've seen, and that. they come out. When you walk into an office, when you walk into an office, and there's piles of paperwork, and everything is out of order, it is your duty to report that to the so authorities. So you called them. Yep. And then they came in. Yes. And they make a okay, report. that's what I was going yeah. to get at. And they make a report. And then... As you're going through boxes, which they're still being gone through, you find things. You give them to the authorities so they can build their investigation. As long as, as long as that is going on, it's open. If it's open, you don't get stuff back and forth until it's closed. They're not going to hand out all this paperwork to everybody while they're doing an investigation. They don't go around talking about it. They do what they need to do. So what did they what did they got? Still open. They got six thousand emails. Okay. I've heard that now. Okay. Yeah. I know what's going through your head. Okay. Jeremy has a copy of the 6,000 emails, but there's an open investigation. Nobody else has the documents. You understand I'm in a lawsuit with the town, right? Because of Russell and because of Mary. So that's another open investigation. The town's own attorneys had to come in, gather the information, and then release it to me. And no, the lawsuit's nowhere near over. We're not even close to being over. Russell and Mary will be held responsible, and Laura Mott will be as well. And I come, I can't see, see some of them. I asked to see some of the emails, which they do exist, and you told me I can't see them. You know, so yeah, you it just doesn't make now. sense to me. You never, yeah, you can see them now. Now? Why couldn't I see them several All months ago? All you did ago? was come in several months ago and ask for a letter, a letter that That's doesn't because, exist. That was right after he made the statement that, that this is right. Uh, you get it perfectly right. July 11 minutes. Read I will them. sit you down in the chair and I will open the email and let you just look. Okay, but you're nice. going to have to let me know so that I can put aside what I'm working on for you to sit in that chair. Why tell me I can't see it? 
She just told you to come I see just, it. You've yeah. been told to come just see it. Just let me know when you're coming in. Can you sit down and You were look? sitting right there, and you, you were kind of in agreement with him. Right. You no, know, I just this. didn't mention anything. What about putting all them emails <laughs> on a little thumb drive and give it to him and we can plug it in? Well, because if he does have an aftercharge. Fifteen cents a page. He's no better than anybody else. I don't uh, care whether no, you are no, on. No, oh no, no, we are on this really. council. That's not really. Me. So when I was, when I when I called no, you no, doing no. all the stuff you were doing, I asked for all those documents. You and Mary said I have to pay. Y'all charge, charge me three dollars a page. It's, it's the, what is the state level? Fifteen. That's right. Russell was charging three dollars a page. It's now fifteen cents. That's a pretty good deal. It doesn't matter legally if it's printed or if it's electronic. There is a charge, and that is legal to charge. And if we want to get back to the world is watching Otter Creek, this is why. Remove the problems. Nobody watches. Nobody laughs. Nobody cares. That's right. So if you want a copy so of all of those, cents. whether it's digital if, if, if or... If the people that are on this council don't have to do that, call your lawyer and ask him. Okay, That's yeah, right. show it to me. Because I'll find out if you're no better than anybody else, Russell. Call your lawyer. What do you mean we're, we're council, council members? Yeah. Don't you understand that? We're all elected officials. Our previous attorney told them that sitting right in the meeting. How many, how many pages is it? Thousands. Are you saying that he can print them? He can look at them all. You can't take them all. If you're taking them, if it does say shampoo, you have to charge. I have to charge. But you can come and sit down and look at them. You can come see it here. You just can't take it. They told me no, okay? Anytime you want to look at it, you can And I'm just going to read. Let me know so I can set aside what I'm working on so you can sit in my chair. Because there's only one computer and there's only one chair. 15 cents a document. Thousands and thousands of documents. You doing the math in your head yet? Yeah, I had to pay. It was not free. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars that I've placed into trying to help Otter Creek get past all of this garbage and to grow. Well, that doesn't answer the question why I was denied that. I can't answer that question because oh, I ain't okay. no part of that. It's okay. You come, come and get it now. Okay, fine. But uh, is all these stumbling blocks going forward with this stuff, you know, I don't know, certainly, uh, and, and today you'll, you'll make that right there, and then tomorrow you'll have a different attitude altogether. Ooh, so just so I'm trying to be pretty see. consistent, yeah. I just want people tell me stuff, but on. I know otherwise it's, it's just not right. That's okay, so you can get with her and make an appointment and do yeah. that. You can come and see so them, just watch the books. Anybody can come and put down, sit down at this table? Sorry, I thought you were saying that, but that's not what you said right. several weeks ago. But you didn't ask me. You did not personally ask me to look at that. You were sitting right there. You heard I, the I, conversation. Look, there are 90 million things going in my head right now. Question asked and answered already. We all know Don's not going to go into the town hall office and go and look at anything anyway, even though it's been offered. We all know that if it's attached to an email and he pays for it, He's not going to be able to open the attachment. Have we heard anything? No, no. Um, was there a question about the public records with the recording? Yes, that, that was people question. are requesting. Um, Russell, you went to the ethics class and you were told that anything that sat at this table became public record. I have requested twice a copy of the minutes that you recorded. Thank you. That's all you have to do. I honestly don't know how I feel about this. I'm glad for the town because now they have all the information legally that they needed to have that Russell was taking away illegally. But at the same time, I wanted to pursue him personally legally. And there's other venues that I'm going after him. He's now got counsel. Oh my goodness. And it's not good counsel. And it's just continuing to incriminate him further and further. Let's see what one of the residents of Otter Creek has to say about that. I have people who would like them, and they'll be charged as much as anybody else. Okay. Thank you. For our announcements, there's the children's food table every other Friday at 1 o'clock, uh, the 13th and the 27th. 
we still have for you can sign up for emails for the water bills so it's cheaper and you get it faster the Wakasasa water and wastewater meeting will be October 18th at 1 p.m. that one will be in Bronson at 660 East Hathaway Ave anybody else have any other announcements they'd like to add all right, and we can open it up for public comments. We have three minutes to comment on any item or issue discussed at this meeting. Does anybody have any comments they'd like to discuss? Yes, sir. I would just like to say, say thank you to those board members that are participating in a positive way and trying to look out for the people of Otter Creek. Um, I want to commend you, Gail, for stepping out and doing something to reach out to those people that don't come to the meetings. Yeah. Um, I think that's great. I wish people had done that in the past. Of all the, the minutes that I've seen in videos of the past, before I was here six years ago, it wasn't like that. I mean, we're holding a meeting for about an hour, and we're getting a lot of things accomplished, a lot of things accomplished. I think you have the best mayor this town has ever had from what I've ever seen or heard, and you should really take advantage of that and get on board with it. It ain't just because she's my wife. She's smart. She reads. She reads. So if she says something, it's because she's already checked it, she's already researched it. She's not malicious, she's not vindictive, and she's going to hold everyone. Everyone's accusing her of that. Everyone, I'm just saying, this is my, this is my time. She's always going to be in the spotlight. She's always going to be in the light. So if you have that's something. That's fine. That's what we need. That good. Then rally behind her and quit saying no to everything that's being proposed here. It's all positive stuff. This is Brett speaking. He makes a couple great points. Number one, Gail has been phenomenal and she's reaching out to the people and listening to the people. She's actually for the people. And number two, he says videos that I've ever seen. Do you understand? Yet again, I'm going to emphasize this. We're not the first to ever video. It was Charlene Meeks videoing for Russell Meeks Sr. in 2013 is the earliest video on YouTube that we are aware of. People of Otter Creek, you want to be upset about being videoed? It was Russ the Sus and Charlene Meeks who started the videoing craze on YouTube in Otter Creek. Well, you're saying that we should go along with Not go they along want. with That's what, what they want. Saying. No, I'm saying that you need, if, if you have a no, then have a reason for the no. Just, okay. Just, okay. Yes. Okay, well. You don't think I have a reason? No. Don't forget. Okay, okay. okay. did anybody else have anything? Yes. Okay, Joy. I'm just really disgusted with the town. This town used to be full of loving people, people who cared about one another, didn't judge people, didn't put them on front street. I can't even go meet a neighbor for fear of being put on front street for speaking with them. And uh, I'm just like, I think it's a crying shame that the people of this sad. town have gotten to this point. I'm not putting blame on anyone, I just find it. Joy is the grandmother of Abel. Abel is the young man who actually destroyed one of our cameras and we could have prosecuted, but we decided to hold back prosecution because he's really under the influence of another meth head in Otter Creek, Kenny Jr. I got you on camera no, breaking my... Filmed. You don't want to be filmed? Don't break don't, my don't, cameras. Don't. Here's the ironic part of her concern. She's stating that somebody's going to put her on front street, saying somebody's going to say she's doing something. She's sitting next to a person that claims to have an intimate relationship with her. 30-year difference, but love knows no boundaries. But neither does that individual, because he's the one who has gone around town showing people on platforms such as YouTube where individuals and residents of Otter Creek live, showing their houses, showing their addresses, showing all the information, who they're associating with. You think that's ironic? George and I focus on our daily lives and who interacts with it. Now, the only reason why Joy is being filmed right now is because she interacted with the actual town hall meeting. And she's sharing a concern, and it's hypocrisy, because the concern is literally sitting right next to her. It's hard. It's hard to go to Walmart. It's hard to go to Winn-Dixie. It's hard. Yeah, because you are in the limelight. I, I came in and say, I said, where do you live? I said, 
Powder Creek, and they start in. Oh my God. Well, they come up to me. Just to <laughs> well, they can't come up to me. Anyway, I just I, I find it sad that we are not united. We're like not. Us. Yes, our town. Is, as far as the love goes, I agree. Everybody agrees. The whole yeah, I people agree. that I talked to yesterday agrees. Our town has went. We don't have the love. Yeah, but we have hate. If you get yeah. the right people the in people, here, it can... The comments, I know we shouldn't read them, but they humiliate us, they're laughing at us, it's bad. Let's take this opportunity to encourage the people of Otter Creek. Other people's comments, other people's thoughts, they don't matter when it comes to watching a video. Now, if I can be very, very point blank transparent with you, George and I daily get death threats, get the most perverse, obscene comments. And guys, this is just from our neighbors across the street in Otter Creek. Do you realize we've been stalked to this town and begged for money? You just get recognized and people want to say hi. Now multiply that by thousands upon thousands, if not millions. George and I deal with that on a daily basis. And you know how you deal with it? It just doesn't matter. You brush it off and you go on with real life. It's really bad. And it gets straightened out. Yeah, I hope. It'll all go away. That's what I said. Let's ride out the storm. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Joy. Mr. Fuller. Just wanted to mention a few things that went on in this meeting. One in particular when Brian asked about um, about the procedure for carrying a motion forward. If you look at your charter, Otter Creek did accept parliamentary law as its as its form of government or its form of running a meeting. And in that form, parliamentary law ask uh, you should ask for a motion, a second, and then discussion. And in that discussion, usually the audience goes first then the council because the council will discuss what the audience has brought forward and then come up with a decision among yourselves but what audience was this i haven't read that in the charter and i've read the charter yeah, it, uh, he doesn't talk about parliamentary okay. procedure well this is his comment to the board yeah. please that's nobody interrupt that's okay and the point the point being you have to if, if you look at division of corporations mm. They will not accept a charter without some method of conducting business. And the accepted, accepted two ways are Robert's Rules of Order, which is, based, which is a summary of parliamentary law or parliamentary law. But it's a simple way of doing business because the public has to have an opportunity to comment on every decision that is being made. And so I would just suggest in the future that we go by parliamentary procedure or just Robert's Rules of Order, which is a simple method of parliamentary procedure. Um, uh, if, I can, if I can help with that, I'll be glad to help with that. Again, but, I'll pull our charter and make sure how it is, because there's a section in there in the minutes. That of how business is conducted. And, and how it is. And Here we go again. I still respect the man, but I want to know why he never, ever, ever said any of this when Russell was the mayor. It's like the, when you argued with us about um, the public speaking on any subject and you're saying, no, that's not proper. In our charter, under meeting, section C says the public has three minutes on any one subject. It doesn't have to be what we talked about. That is correct. Every, so that is I correct. will look and see how, if, mm -hmm. if, how we, the charter well, says we're supposed to conduct these meetings, and I will um, let the, everyone know. We'll go back and I'll highlight it and see. There it is. Because if we're going forward, we're going forward the right way. Yes. And if this and is what our charter says, and that's what we will do. Very good. The other thing I'd like to bring up is that we have to be careful about the difference between an ordinance and a resolution. That is very so. Resolutions are used to make decisions. An ordinance is a law. That's very and, true. and we need to separate ordinances from laws. You can make a decision on any one or any any action using a resolution, not necessarily an ordi or ordinance, because an ordinance is supposed to last until it's repealed. And so 
for that reason, I suggest that we look at that difference and we make decisions based on resolutions and not on ordinances. That is correct. That's what we're trying to do going forward. Um, that was one of the things when we sought legal counsel as to our building and zoning. And I had other questions. That was one of the, the you know. Okay. And the, last, and the last thing is the fact that emergencies can be declared if it is an emergency, like purchasing a computer right now. If it is an emergency, it is an emergency, just like the purchase before. That it, that is a caveat to any purchase, is that if it is an emergency, a legitimate emergency, and you have to justify that, it can be done. So just moving forward, that needs to be considered. So who defines what an emergency is? The charter doesn't define what an emergency is. It states that anything over $500 has to be voted on. Anything under $500, the mayor can make a purchase in the event of an emergency. Russell's definition of an emergency and Don's definition of an emergency and Madam Mayor's definition of an emergency and Belinda's definition of an emergency obviously don't align. And I seriously doubt, Albert, if your definition is going to align with everybody either. So it's a little ambiguous to go, well, we could do these things under emergency. All that's going to happen, no matter what Madam Mayor Therese does, no matter what Belinda does, Don and Russell are going to fight it, regardless of whether they call it an emergency or not. We did. We, we, we kept that in mind, and then we looked at the prior minutes. And that's how we determined, okay, what was said in these minutes prior to us. What was said, because I wasn't here. So all I can go by is what the public record showed on the minutes that were discussed, okay? We, we spent almost $2,000 on a printer, color printer scanner. And, but we didn't go by the ordinance. The ordinance says three quotes over $500, and if you can't get the three quotes, then it needs to go for a bit. But we spent $2,000 on- emergency city. It's not even that, in that there. That wasn't no emergency. Yeah. So we need to add that part in there because it didn't say anything about emergency. Neither was and putting an attorney on Zoom. That know, wasn't an emergency we, we either. We looked at what was said to say, okay, everybody wants this new administration, and I want this new administration to go forward with the fight, as I was told. And that was what, All of those that things. what I'm asking as well. And is that is what we're trying to do. We're trying not to make the same mistakes. Yes, we need a new computer, and I pray that I don't hit it and knock it off, and I'm constantly backing it up, but, I'm gonna, but I won't cut it off because I might not get it back up. There are ways around that, but in the meantime, I will do exactly what our ordinance has said. It said over $500, if I need this project, I will put it out for good. And, and then when I don't get anything, then we'll discuss it from there. Because that's what the Bible said. The Bible said, we're going to run this office just like they're supposed to. And I'm going to do just that. But in the, also, it doesn't matter who sits on this board. Because they need to do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. So that's, the, that's what we're going to make sure to happen. an emergency situation. If it was an emergency situation, that is the caveat to any, any of the rules set forth. And that should be considered. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you for coming. Was there anybody else who had any comment? Just get the quotes. Why can't more than one thing? Angela has plenty of computer places. But then no one who will be back and help if something goes wrong. You have another comment on the table. I'm so sorry. Is it official that the meeting will be at 6 rather than 7? No. No. I got to keep it at 7. Okay. Somebody else? Yes. I just wanted to make a comment um, because of the comment that Mr. Fuller made. I can stand up so we can see. I agree with Mr. Fuller about parliamentary law and or parliamentary procedure. I'm sorry, and Robert's use of rules of order. I think it's a great thing to have. But I would like to make one little other caveat to that: is Mr. Fuller sat on this board and watched that not happen in the videos that I've watched in the past before I got here. Didn't say a word. And didn't say anything about how other mayors were handling things and not telling people, it's, this is your turn to speak. He didn't give the opportunity for other people to speak in the videos that I've seen. And it's been videoed for more some time. 
It's been videoed for longer than these people have been videoing it because it's been videoed since 2013, 14, 15. You'll find videos back then. Yes, finally somebody says something. And what does he respond with? Absolutely nothing. And it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that nobody gets, gets along because that's ultimately the goal that we want is we want a town where everybody gets along. I've never lived in a town, a small town. I'm sorry. It's awful that y'all don't get along. We came. We used to. We but, did. But yeah. you didn't yeah. as far as what I've seen. Because chaos came. Chaos didn't come. Jeremy Hales came to actually hide, didn't want anybody to ever know where he lived, and then had to film for accountability purposes. The chaos was always there. Then I put a camera on it and people watched, and then more people came. Stop the chaos. Stop the problem. You just created another problem saying chaos came. Stop the actual root problem and stop pointing at a situation that is a symptom of it. Jeremy's filming. Now somebody else is filming. Now somebody else is filming. You have thought from the very beginning, if I go back in the meeting minutes in the 90s, in the 90s, 1990s, Russ was threatening to kick people out, wouldn't let people have their three minutes to say anything. He fought with Marie. He fought with you. He fought with Don before it was Madam Mayor Therese. It's never, ever been without chaos. Fix the actual problem and stop pointing at people like me. I moved into your chaos and your problem unbeknownst to me. The only thing I did was turn the camera on. <coughs> chaos was happening. Chaos no, it was, was happening. happening. But it might have it was been quiet chaos. But you yeah, were we loved each other regardless. Yes, ma'am. Regardless, we may loved I each other. Because I care about everybody. That's the way we were. We loved each other. Never we came even think about each other. Yeah. We're scared. Everybody's scared. I'm scared. You know what I mean? I'm scared, I'm scared, scared to walk out my door because there's so many people down our road filming. Yes, ma'am. You know what I mean? And Film. you know, Film. you Film. know that I go down that road every single day yeah. because my job gets yeah. me there, and it makes me nervous to drive. Because there are many people who are filming. Where are I shouldn't people? have to be that way. But my point is this: this board is trying to change this. This board is trying to make it better. And everybody's butting heads. And everybody's nagging it on. Yeah. And if everybody really wants to be neighborly to each other, it's then let's here. have the procedures. But it's going to start right here in this room. Yep. And if you guys can't get along, and if you guys have yep. grudges against each other, and purposely, That's purposely... That's what it is. Do things because of spite and hate, then this town is doomed. And it's not because of these people, it's because of the few that are here that do nothing but want to antagonize. And an entire meeting, these people got voted in here to make this place better. If you want this place to be better, I pray I get to vote next time. And I can't wait. And I hope every single person that lives in this town votes. And I hope, Gail, I hope you I'm talk them running. into you it. Begin. I'm not running. No, no. Over. I hope you, when you go to those people, that you encourage them and encourage them and encourage them and encourage them to vote. Because you need good yeah, people. Yeah, I am. Towns. They all will vote. Yeah. But this they didn't want to start. Change. They this already want to start change. this year. This didn't start this year. <laughs> this, this started yeah, a long, already. long time ago. With 6,000 emails of making fun of people that live in this town. Yeah. Yeah, I see it in every set of minutes I read, whether it's 1996 or now. I'm almost done now, I've got to get three minutes. But in a man who just tonight said that there was no corruption, was no, what do you call it? It was a, where they got the truck. He didn't sign, he didn't sign a an agreement for a truck. He just said it. But then he turned around and said, oh, he didn't. He signed the agreement for the truck because he knew he was getting the money for the truck. Okay, we understand that, but why lie about it and say you didn't put your name in black and white? It why lie about lie. it? Okay, he, <laughs> what, would you, what would you call it? I said it wasn't all lying. What would you, what call, would you it? call it? It was, it was a hiding oh, of the uh, truth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Omission. This is, Omission. This, this, sure. is, this is a common two board. We're not going to, you know, I 
just don't want the bigger going back and forth. Okay. Of course not. So that, that's what I'm trying to you say. Can't call somebody Everybody liar. needs to be honest. Okay. Everybody needs to be honest. That's all I'm saying. That, my friends, is what you call common sense, maturity, wisdom. If anything, you should be voting her on your board. I can't say it any better than it was just said. Okay. Okay. Does anybody else have anything? Yep, you don't make me get in trouble. Hey, Vicky does. Vicky, <laughs> I would say something, but I don't want all the cameras on me, so I'm going to sustain. Uh, you have a right. Can y'all take the cameras down where she can not say in something? Public. Not in the public building, you know. Right. Somebody said you got a right to not be filmed. That is absolutely 100% incorrect. The only right to never be filmed is in the privacy of your own home. You're filmed every single day now it's not every day that the filming from walmart and from the streets and from the city and the town and the state and the government and all the businesses they're not all uploading it onto youtube or any other platform doesn't mean they can't they can if they want to if they so choose they have every legal right to do that if you are in public you have every legal right to be filmed by another person in public and this is a public meeting. You cannot refuse the right to film. Can you, can you offer to not I'll, I'll point respect them at that. her? I'll respect that. To offer to not point them at her, okay. at least. I can respect that. Who can not point them at you? Did you want to make a comment, Vicki? I don't think I can. This is ridiculous. Okay. It's scary. Gail has lived here all her life. A lot of the other people have. And this is the meeting that you come into with adults that can't even get along that acts like children? You know, this is shameful. And you want to help the town with 45 houses with the people here? I do not see that in this meeting that I was in tonight with certain board members. I respect Belinda for how she stood up for herself when we first came in here, when she was shouted out. Belinda, I respect that a lot as a woman of what you took at this meeting. But I have to say it is very shameful to have adult people here that can't even sit in a meeting and be respectful to each other. You know, just like Gail went from door to door to help the citizens, the people that live here in Otter Creek. You know, that is taking a lot of her time to respect what she has here. That is someone that wants to commit to the town of Otter Creek. Yes, I was born and raised in Otter Creek. This here used to be where we used to come and have our 4-H meetings. You did not ever have, you know, times have changed, but people got along. They may have disagreements, but they still loved and talked them out. They didn't shout at each other in a public meeting like this. This is, you know, I have to say, very shameful. I would like to see Otter Creek get back to the way it was restore some of the old buildings. You know, you can make money by opening up like the old post office. Bring it back like historical sites. You will have people wanting to come in and visit. But the way it is now, if you don't have people agree to make it better, it's not going to get better. And Gail, they don't want, need to lose you because you have a big opinion and not a big you think that actually registered in Russell and Don's heads? Or were they being disrespectful the whole time like they are to all the other females in Otter Creek? What Vicki said rings true, and it's straight from the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Vicki. Was there anybody else who had anything? Anybody on the board? All right, meeting adjourned. What's next for Otter Creek? We're probably on the road right now as you're watching this. We'll let you know as soon as we know.